ordinary obedience is choosing to follow and do what God has asked us to do. Simple as that. Choosing to do and follow what God has asked you to do. It isn't difficult. It should be an ordinary part of a believer's life. James 2.22 says, Do not merely be a reader of the word, but obey what it says. Don't deceive yourselves. Just do what it says. The second letter is B, believe. When we believe in God, our natural response is obedience, is to follow him. Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my commands. E is example. When we are practicing obedience, we, our faith is an example to others, and we can win others to Jesus Christ. We're living out our faith as an example. Ephesians 6, 6 says, obey them not only to win their favor when their eye is on you, but so that they will recognize you as a slave of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. And do it daily. D, choose to follow Jesus and you will grow in your obedience and you will grow to know in your relationship with him. Romans 2.13 says, for it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight, but it is those who obey the law who will be declared righteous. Identity, I. When we practice obedience, we can identify with Jesus' life. Philippians 2.8 says, Jesus became in the form of a man, and he was obedient to death, even death on the cross. Jesus was obedient to his Father, even to going to the cross and dying for our sins. He is our example, and when we are obedient to him, we identify with him. We're a part of his family. E, engage. When we choose obedience to God, we're living in him and engaged in a righteous life. We are living for him, and we are holy and pleasing to him. Psalm 24, 3 says, Who may climb the hill of the Lord? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. He wants us to follow him. He wants us to be obedient. And never alone. When you are walking in obedience with God, you are never alone. He promises never to leave you or forsake you. Hebrews 13.5 says, God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. He will never leave us. If we're walking faithfully with him, he will always be with us. See his confidence. We can have confidence that we are right with God when we are obedient to him. And one day we will see his face. 1 John 3, 21 and 22 says, Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and receive from him anything we ask because we keep his commands and we do what pleases him. E, the last one, is effort. It takes effort to obey. It takes some work. Daily choose to pick up your cross and follow Jesus. It's up to you if you're going to follow. 